And then look at the, here, the lock is much bigger to keep handbooks and things in. This is for the, making the window go up and down. <laughs> How do you, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. But I'll tell you a little story about the bodies on the car. Um, mm. They're both original bodies, mm. um, but they weren't originally on th th these cars. And after this car had been um, um, give, uh, given a new body in about 19, um, 1914, 1915, because the, the, you couldn't wear out the car, not ever, but the, the body um, being woodwork and on bumpy roads it would get a bit damaged. And so people would often have as many as three different bodies on the car during its lifetime. But this had got its second body when I bought it. And I wanted to restore it to being original. So I went to a different scrap dump where I was able to buy this body. And um, so the car came off uh, one um, a scrap dump and the body came off another. But um, the, um, the man that owned the scrap dump for cars mm. also had carriages on his scrap dump. And he had about a hundred beautiful carriages, horse-drawn carriages, because um, in the 1920s and 30s, people were buying their first motor car and in London, they only had a single one-car uh, carriage house. And they, they, they had to take their carriage out in order to put the car in. And, and this scrap dump, uh, uh, about 10 miles out of London, um, had about 100 beautiful carriages. And he couldn't sell them for one pound each. Nobody wanted to buy, because they were all getting their first cars. <laughs> but uh, he told me to go down this alleyway and turn right, and I'd mm -hmm. find some car bodies. And um, on that scrap dump uh, in the same day, oh, he said to me, uh, Adrian, he was an ex-Navy diver and I was an engineer in the Navy at the time. And he yeah. said, Adrian, you can have any body you like for five pounds. So I went wandering around and I found this body and I found that body both on the same day. And uh, so I went to my father and I said, can you lend me 10 pounds? Yes. And he did. And I bought both these bodies on the same day. And it was 50 years before I found a, a, a chassis to put this body on. <laughs> so, that is amazing. A, a history. That is. But you can see this, this is a, quite a different style of body. Okay. They, they are just so, so beautiful. <laughs> and I can't wait to show my dad what they're like. <laughs> and they've got this little box. And what? that's the coil uh, to make the spark. Inside that little box? Yes, that's right, yes. They didn't have plastic in those days. <laughs> no, thank goodness. <laughs> the seats are all leather, of course. Yes. They are just, oh, you know. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? When you think that, 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 oh no, this was the start of all the cars, this sort of thing. And this is, what's in here? No, oh, no, that, that's the just... coil. That's the coil underneath, yes. That makes the spark. How do you drive it? <laughs> I mean, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's, it's um, anyone that can drive a truck um, with an old-fashioned gearbox can drive it. It's not that hard, and um, it, um, looking looking after it's more complicated. All the maintenance thing because you can't go to a garage anymore. There's nobody that knows what to do, and so uh, I do all my own maintenance. It's just absolutely exquisite. It's so beautiful. And this is gorgeous too. Well, that, that's the other, the Rolls Royces are the slowest cars in captivity, and uh, but this is at the other end of the scale. This is an old racing car. Yes. Um, and um, built it's 1924, and it was built for racing at um, a racetrack in England called Brooklands. Yes. And it would compete against the Bentleys and the Opals and the um, Bugattis. Um, and it was it was a famous British racing car, and. Um, <coughs> And, and this one, um, in, in those times, it, it, it did 103 miles an hour, which is more than 170 k, and, and and it still does today. In fact, it does a lot more because I've uh, sort of hotted the engine up. 